What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Again, not the most jovial piece, but um, obviously Terry Trafford, the Saginaw Spirit, who went missing last week. His body was found uh, today in a Walmart parking lot in uh, Saginaw, Michigan. And, you know, he was dismissed from the team last week for smoking marijuana, smoking pot, and um, was sent home to Toronto and just obviously never got there and you can sit around and you know speculate the reasons for his death and I'm sure that'll come out in the coming days and weeks but you know what's most troublesome is that there's a 20 year old young man dead there's no other way to crack the situation besides that um however I don't think the OHL and the uh Saginaw Spirit handled this as appropriately as they should have I think the Saginaw Spirit kind of threw it under the rug for the first few days he was missing. You know, I don't want to say they said good riddance to the gigs. That's that's not, you know, obviously not in retrospect. But, you know, they wanted to, to get rid of him. And, uh, you know, he was gone, you know. And this he probably, you know, he, he had conditions where he couldn't come back to the team. But, um, you know, he went home and never got there. And, you know, I, the, his girlfriend and his family said he was troubled by being dismissed from the team. And, you know, you gotta ask yourself, you know, what role did that play in his in his death? And um, you know, I can't sit here and speculate about that because you know that's, that's you know bigger than than anything I can talk about. Because again, there's a young man whose life is over. You know, plain and simple. And this wasn't a kid who was gonna be you know a sure NHL player. You know, this, this great junior star going on to the NHL or any of that. You know, the reality of the situation is he probably was gonna be an overager next year. And then, you know, what, play Canadian college hockey or something like that. But um, bottom line is the um, OHL should have acted swifter, I think. And I think the Saginaw Spirit should have acted a lot swifter. If there were problems going on with him, they should have been addressed. Because, you know, with young people, if, you know, whether you're a hockey player or not a hockey player, you know, if you're going through a struggle, there should be people to be there to comfort you. Tell you it's gonna be all right. You know, it sounds stupid. You you think of hockey players as you know these big tough human beings, but you know they're, they're, in these cases they're kids. You know, no different than anyone else. And you know maybe he was smoking pot to deal with those. I could he was you know coming smoking recreationally, whatever. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and speculate. That's not my thing. My thing is I want answers from the Saginaw and from the OHL. You know, it's not gonna bring them back, but. They just something doesn't smell right in this situation, and um, hopefully again, you know, the help, boring support from all members of the hockey community. You know, uh, Terry will be missed, and you know, I think you, you take a little part of that with you. You know, knowing that the way they all rallied around them, and hopefully, you know, there's some. You know, I just hope I'll send my thoughts out to the uh, to his family and his you know teammates and all that because it's you know for the people that are most affected. Anyway, that's like this episode of the Power Play with CJ on uh, Terry Trafford's body uh, being discovered in Saginaw. Stay tuned for more episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.